The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics. And today I'm going to talk about fasting. And we are going to talk about the physiology of fasting. What are the changes which happen inside you when you are fasting? Uh, when is the glucose used? When do you lose weight, the maximum weight? When do you lose muscles? What are the side effects? What are the changes in the hormone? Right? If you're diabetic, what will happen, etc. etc. Everything will be covered today. So stay tuned. Let's start. So guys, basically what happens in fasting is there are so many animals who actually do fasting for a very long time. For example, bears can go into hibernation for months, right? And there is basic principle which has been studied in these animals as well as in other kind of animals who do fasting, either intermittent or a long-term fasting. But here I'm going to talk about fasting in phases. If you start fasting and actually go on fasting and we'll cover the intermittent basis as well. So what happens when you fast? Obviously before fasting you have had a bean and whatever meal, whatever food you have eaten would basically be used up or stored in your body and it depends upon all these kind of energy storages which is there in your body that how much time can you actually uh, normally fast without having any uh, problems in your body. Right. So it depends upon these things, the endogenous energy stores that is uh, glycogen, the lipids, fats and the proteins. Right. And also it also depends not just this but also depends upon the rate at which you use these storage during fasting. Right. Obviously if you are actually very 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 active doing hard workout then you will be actually used up very fast. Right. So this also determines what kind of energy store will be used right and this basically the substrate of whatever energy is used and this substrate catabolism is basically a function and dependent on the metabolic expenditure the collective uh, product of basal metabolism thermoregulation the activity cost and any other thing like allocation to uh, some kind of reproductive process like copulation and uh, sexual intercourse whatever you get involved in during the fasting right so that's basically everything is included in activity right but in all kind of fastings one thing is common for as a response for survival is the basic response is reduction in activity if I talk about animals, they actually reduce their activity of moving, you know, territory defense, thermoregulation and so many activities and actually they can decrease their energy expenditure, daily energy expenditure from 50 to 70 percent. So you can imagine how much of difference does uh, just activity, reduction of activity makes, right? This is the first mechanism by which your body adapts to fasting, right? By reducing your activity, right? You do it sometimes where you do it yourself, sometimes the body forces you to reduce your activity. Then the second step is elimination of specific dynamic action, right? See, initially what happens, there will be a metabolic uh, rate decrease, decrease in your metabolic rate because there will be a cessation of whatever meal is there in your abdomen, in your intestines. So the digestion will obviously uh, end somewhere, the assimilation will end at a moment and then there is nothing to digest, nothing to assimilate. So there will be stoppage of all the metabolic action which is happening in the entire gastrointestinal system and that is a huge um, energy expenditure of your body which is actually stopping right so this actually leads to decrease in the metabolic rate 
right? Because you know, feeding regular feeding actually does a lot of things. It induces your gastric acid production, increases your gut motility, enzyme production, and release is stimulated, right? Iron channels and other nutrient transport mechanisms are initiated. Nutrient assimilation is done. Then there is synthesis of glycogen, fat, proteins, and all of these things actually contribute to increase of metabolic rate and this metabolic rate actually increases after you feed by anywhere from 25 to 1000 percent can you imagine that so now you're not feeding so therefore initially your metabolic rate drops right so this is the second response lowering the metabolic rate and a reduction in activity is a big factor in again lowering the metabolic rate from 50 to 70 percent the third thing which happens is lowering of body temperature during this fasting this happens sometimes the person uh, animals do it by themselves sometimes it happens by own because obviously your metabolic rate is slowing so your body temperature will get down and then you ultimately land into what is called as a metabolic depression right this basically is uh, something which is independent of body temperature but it is basically that metabolic rate of, uh, of, of an animal of a person who is fasting which decreases from uh, anywhere between 30 to 85 percent because of the down regulation of all the cellular processes including the depression of iron pumps uh, decrease in the iron leakage reduction in the intracellular mitochondrial proton leak right to the suppression of in even the rna and protein synthesis right all of this actually happens during fasting and all these things happen in phases right this is the actual metabolic adaptation which your body does to survive prolonged fasting but it doesn't happen actually very initially so let me tell you how things happen in the so you need to understand the concepts here so this is all about fasting and physiology of fasting we will make another video on intermittent fasting very soon so stay connected with us and don't forget to ask your questions on instagram and uh, facebook uh, q a live q and a's and till next time i'm dr paramdeep and you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy